Well, my faith was uh, shaped back in the uh, Dust Bowl days. Uh, I was very close to God and I shared everything with Him when I was uh, eight years old. He's never let me down in all these years. Well, it, it really goes back to uh, 50 years ago. We were named outstanding Franklin County farmers. Without the hogs that we raised on the farm, the manufacturing company would have probably never been born. We were at the right place at the right time. He was one of the first of the, first of the neighborhood, actually, that uh, started bringing shell corn in from the field. We got a bin, put corn in it, and wow, we couldn't get it dry on top. So he got a little stoker auger from a little town of Ardale over here. There was a blacksmith there and put it into the drill. And he carried the drill up to the top. Well, you get up there with a scoop shovel and that just doesn't work to move corn on the top of a bin, but this auger worked out good. He was excited about that because it did break up this top part. So oh, I like most farmers to think they're the smartest guys out there and they're gonna come up with an idea. Well, uh, I decided to make these augers and we made a must have made about a hundred of those little rascals. I took uh, five of them down to Stockdale's. We had purchased our bin from Stockdale, so they, they were nice and purchased some augers. Went back there about a month later and he said, well, I've sold three of them. One guy's brought his back, the other guy said he's never going to carry that thing up to the top of the bin with an electric cord again, and the other one we never did hear from. And they said, oh, you've got to automate this, this one, and the farmers just aren't going to drag this up to the top of the bin. But I came home, and uh, one next morning or two, I came up with the idea of putting an auger through the handle of that drill. You know, this was something we really had never thought about before because if we raised a bushel of corn, there was a market for it. You, could, you maybe didn't like the price, but you could take your bushel of corn and sell it someplace in the area. But when you have a product, you have to have a buyer. We uh, knew that we had something there because the auger worked so well, dried his grain uh, the way it was, it mixed it, and we uh, came up with about 14% moisture in the bin and he was able to sell his grain. And so from that, he um, devised the first stirway. When we got into this and, and toted that first short auger out to the Illinois State Fair, uh, we couldn't have begun to, uh, <laughs> to even have any, have any idea of how this would grow. The difference between Sookup and other companies probably is more the family, being family run. Um, I can call any of them anytime. It's still the personal contact. Sharon always answers the phone. I can talk to an individual, boom, right away. Now I can call Charles today. I might call Eugene today. You can't do that with the other people. I mean, you just, it, they've just gotten so corporate. And here it's, it's still a family business and they care about you. They are willing to invest a lot of their money in, in new products and in new production facilities. And uh, they don't have an investment bank in the background that need to take their share. When you are a partner with Sugar, it's very nice because they are willing to invest so much in the future. And I emailed one of the guys at 11 o'clock the night before I left on an order that I wanted to pick up today and he responded to me, it almost blew my mind, uh, at 11 o'clock at night, which he was on his phone. You know, stuff like that, they're there, they're trying to do the best they can uh, to help me get down in the field in the, in the rush of the season. Uh, here, uh, if we needed something answered, some questions, some service, some whatever, they'll take care of the problem. If it, if it runs overtime, runs a weekend, runs, takes other people involved. I think it's their commitment to their product. I think Suka um, has pride in what they do. 
I think they really care genuinely about um, creating solutions for the farmers and that reflects in all the products that they provide to us. We appreciate that. We appreciate their morals and business uh, uh, practices. Um, definitely, definitely is a pleasure to work with uh, a family owned business. It gives you a little more trust, I think, in a company. Um, number one, just knowing that, uh, you know, they're in it where some of these other corporations, uh, you know, well, let's face it, they could be sold tomorrow. And I don't think that's the case here. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of family support and there's younger ones coming into motion. And it's, I think it's going to be a, a good next 50 years for Suga. We are very different and unique from all the uh, other bin companies. They typically have started with making the bin and then the accessories like the fans or the floors or the uh, unloading equipment was all an accessory. We had to survive on our accessories, the stirring machine, the fans and heaters, the floors and loading equipment being the very best. And so when we culminated with uh, providing grain bins, we had the strongest one-stop package of anybody in the business. 12 years ago, 80% of our sales were products that we weren't making 12 years ago. Every new generation, there's gonna be a whole turn to the industry and that's what you have to be responsive for and that's when we moved into portable dryers, grain bins, material handling, bucket elevators, conveyors that we've never had done, we weren't doing 12 years ago. The industry said, well, what do you want to get into grain bins for? There's so many there now. Look how many have disappeared. This is a dying business out there. They've built every bin that's going to be needed through the years. We were building all these accessories for these companies. But as they went along, they started building them themselves. They were squeezing us out. We had no choice to, but to take a look at building our own grain bin. They're not scared to, to jump into any part of that. Uh, if there's a new product to be made or something to be looked at, um, we know there's action there. We know it's not uh, uh, anything false or false promised. If they say they're going to look at it, and they will do it. And they make decisions that people, uh, the rest of the industry criticizes. They don't think, oh, you can't start a green bin. If we've got enough of us now, it's never going to work. Well, look what happened there. You know, oh, you can't start up a dryer. Well, look what happened there. Well, it's the best fitting bin I've ever built are the only grain manufacturer that puts their name on the grain bins. When 2001 came along, we were one of the first dealers that put up one of the new Suka bins, and uh, we were so thrilled with that, and my guy said, don't sell anything other than a Suka after this. We're pretty much 100% Suka grain bins and use all of their equipment inside of them as well. Definitely want to congratulate uh, uh, Charles and, and Eugene and, and Steve and, and everybody else here. Um, uh, I want to congratulate you and uh, many more years. Backing up your product and uh, taking care of customers has got you to the position where you're at today. And I would really encourage you to just uh, try to try to keep it a family-owned business and try to continue on that way for the sake of, of the customers. Well, I'd, I'd like to congratulate Eugene on starting a tremendous company and I wish his sons many more years, hopefully, uh, that they can continue the Sukup tradition uh, of great products and wonderful service. I'd like to wish uh, all of the Sukups a happy 50th year in business, and especially to Eugene to uh, have all the family uh, stay with him in the business endeavor. It's very important to keep on doing that uh, and build a business like you would build your farm family. So congratulations uh, to all the Sukups for 50 years. I congratulate you on you know, 50 years of being in the industry. I hope with uh, the, the boys coming in that you'll be strong in the industry for the next 50 years and that my grandkids will be dealing with your grandkids. Congratulations to the Sukup family and we are more than happy to be working with you in the farming community. We're proud to be part of the Sukup family and uh, we honor you in every way, right from our owner Jim, uh, us salespeople, uh, all of the people in Skyway wish you well and we wish you another 50 great years. We're so happy that you're bringing your families into this because we see some longevity here and uh, 
Thank you and the very best to you. It's a big achievement to be in uh, a company this size that long, uh, you know, growing every year. Congratulations on everything. It's a big success. You just have to be the most proud of relationships with the people you work with and, and uh, your customers. That has to be the pride of the whole thing. As a grandmother, of course, I'm, I'm proud, you know, of my family. And as a wife, I know what Eugene did. And uh, so I'm proud of that. I've enjoyed working for you uh, and doing what I could. And I'm very, very proud of this company. I thought we had an agreement that we were going to retire together. He told me, stay here till I retire. Well, I think I could probably be here till 100 because I don't know that he's going to be able to retire. When Mary can't come to work, I'm not coming to work. So. Well, the fact is, don't, don't tell him, you know, but he, he couldn't keep me home if he were coming. Tell you the truth, Joe, I don't think we've had a challenge. <laughs>